Guys, y'all might be wondering why I have a ladder. I'm just gonna tell you this right now. Wait till the end of the video, find out. It gets gnarly. Alright, are we ready? Let's go. So I've been a little bit under the weather recently, but today I woke up feeling quite nice. I woke up, I was like, dang, I finally feel alive. And I think it's due to this Dayquil that I've been taking, Dayquil and Nyquil. Normally it really doesn't work, but I've been consistent with it. And I think that's been my main problem whenever I get sick. I never consistently take medicine, so I just never get well. And then I just get sick like every two weeks, it seems like. But I've learned my lesson, I've stayed consistent. So even though I'm feeling better, I'm gonna take some Dayquil and we're gonna get this day started, baby. The day quill has been consumed. So we're gonna start off our day right. We're gonna head to breakfast. We're gonna go to our favorite spot. How does first watch sound? Taylor, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I'm here. How does first watch sound? Sounds good. We're gonna go to first watch. We're gonna get our day started. Been a little bit offended by some of y'all's comments. Y'all been saying I skip leg day. So I'm gonna prove to y'all that I hit legs, all right? Guys, at this point of time of filming this video, I would like to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Right now we're at 8,000 subscribers at this point point filming this video hopefully by the time this thing is launched we'll be close to 10k or even past it i see that only about half of you guys are subscribed so it'd mean the world to me if the other half of y'all hit that subscribe button we would be way past 10,000 subscribers Chiller, what do you got to say to the audience that hasn't subscribed yet have you subscribed of course i'm subscribed you guys should be subscribed these videos are awesome we're gonna be cranking them out all summer so click that subscribe button and uh we'll bring you more content let's get it we're gonna go get in the car we're gonna get this grub then we're gonna hit these legs so before going to the gym you want to get focused if you want to get amped if you want to reach your full potential your workout coming up you got to play some pop smoke what do you think Taylor? what do you think how are you feeling Violent. dude i'm feeling invincible Woo! let's go baby it's a hundred we have arrived baby it is time to get chunky what are we looking at today, Shaylee? I don't know, but I am so hungry. This is the holy water. The holy water. Will this make you deadlift 600? At least. You just gotta hydrate. I'm hungry and I'm ready to get this day rolling. We've got a lot of cool things that we're gonna do. We're about to show you. It's gonna be a good one, let me tell you. It's gonna be a learning process today. Switching it up a bit. Dude. Oh, baby. Dude, this looks incredible. Does it? It does. This is gonna be good. It's gonna be unbelievable. Let's eat. Taylor, what do you call a pig that does karate? What? A pork chop. Hey, Shaler. Yeah? Why did the bike fall over? Because it was too tired. That's like the worst joke I've ever heard. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. It's not. Can you actually give me a good one? Ooh, y'all might know this one. Why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants to the golf course? In case you got a hole in one. You must play golf. Dude, I do. And I have a hole in one, but not as many as you, right? That is facts. I have three times the amount as you. That makes me three times better, right? That's not how it works. Well, after I win this match today, I'll be three times better than you. Because then it'll be three to one. That is true. So. That is true. But if I win, which I will, we'll be two to two. What you want? We've made it to the gym guys, so you know what it is. We got to start off with a little bit of dry scoop of a pre-workout And then we're gonna get this thing rolling. We're gonna hit deadlifts today because you know I like to be strong This is one of the compound movements that gets you freaking strong It's crazy to me that people lift these oh like gosh. over their head. That's literally what they do in the it's strongest like, man cup. On the way we go and blast the first stall, chasing him down hard. Look at this from Tom Stoltman, roaring through the stones. Wow, wow, wow! Woo! That'll hit you. We're going three reps. We're just gonna get speed on these. Work that explosive thing. You wanna fly off the ground, baby. Boom, baby. 
We're working with bands because it's wide at the bottom and then the most resistance will be at the top. We're just working speed off the ground and then once it gets to the top, that'll be the heaviest part of the movement. So we're gonna go ahead and slap on 45s and we're just doing one sets of one from here on out with speed. You said you got speed. We got 275 on the bar here for my little brother, Hudson. Got 275 on the bar. He is my older brother, but he is my little brother at the same time. You said you got speed. Let's see it. Not bad, not bad. We're gonna put 365 on the bar. I and mean, y'all are gonna leave down in the comments who moved their weight the fastest. I think I got faster. Let's see it, brother. Come fast. on. All right, little big bro, let's see what you got. All you gotta do is just press off the ground and just pull it. That is fast. So. Just pull it off the ground. It was faster. That was a lot faster than I thought it would be. That one felt pretty fast. I'll probably rewatch this one through. It normally actually feels slower than it looks on camera. So I might go up to four plates. You put the math together, four plates, that's 405 pounds. At the top of the movement with this sort of resistance, it's gonna feel like 605 pounds. So this will be good training for training up to my 600 pound deadlift. I'll give it to you. So because I'm actually too lazy to pull off that 25 that was on the inside, we're just going to throw on another 25, which makes it 415. I said I was going to do a 405, but it's just way easier just putting on a 25. We're going for speed, baby. Speed. That's easy. That's easy. Although I do feel like I'm about to faint. So now we're just gonna get into the volume and we're gonna cut to that, baby. Let's go. Oh, these things hurt. Bad. Hey, don't show my calves now. All right, that is a wrap on the workout. Now we're gonna go home, we're gonna get some grub, and we're gonna show you guys something a little bit more interesting than my calves, because these things are non-existent, unfortunately. I'm trying to take after Doggo. Look at these things. <laughs> All right, so we got changed. We got into our golf attire. The workout was great. And guys, we got a new toy. Taylor, why don't you pass us that little bag back there? Hudson, why don't you tell the people what we got here? DJI Air 2S drone. And what does this thing do? This thing flies. It records. flies. So we're going to see what we can make happen with this thing. So we're going to go mess around with this thing a little bit. Hudson is going to be the pilot. Hopefully he does not screw anything up. Okay. Oh, we'll see. So this could be very interesting. This could be just $1,600 right down the drain. No, this I, is going to be I, a game changer. So this could be a game changer if we can operate it correctly. All right. She looks good to go. Let's fire it up. <laughs> let's fire All right. Let's up. go. You ready for the mat? Let's I'm, go. Dude, I'm ready. Really hoping this does not go south. This thing can go seven miles from our current location. So we can basically film to Africa and back. Dang, I didn't realize Africa was that far. All right, here we go. What is the beeping? And it is in flight, guys. Oh, landing. It's got an auto land. You have passed your pilot test. successfully passed flight school. Let's go to the golf course now. It's time to get this match rolling. The content is only getting better, guys. This is where I want to be. Never ever gonna leave. out here to the golf course we're gonna have a little match coming so yesterday we played a little match play on the front nine you'll probably notice this hole right here taylor took the dub in a playoff hole I did so y'all want to see the full match it was wire to wire as you can see in the thumbnail of the last video you want to see that whole thing a really good match go ahead and click on it but we're back out here we're gonna start on hole 11 we found a gap on the golf course it's pretty crowded today so hole 11 out here on the queen's course at glen eagles country club it's 160 yards taylor you got honors i do let's, get, let's right. just get right into let's it let's go let's go Stroke play today. Shayler, what do we got here? 160, 160 yards. A little. First swing of the day, a little into the wind. I got eight iron. I'm gonna try to, you know, knock it close. First shot of the day. Watch out for the people up there. The bunkers are washed out, people. It's been raining. Oh, it's pure. Not a bad First shot to start. Of the day, I will take that. I'm going with the nine ski. The nine ski, huh? I had no idea where that was gonna go. Let's see how Hogan fares. Oh. 
Yeah. Loosen it up, baby. You Come just this is right after deadlifts guys too. Guys over there, <laughs> they're watching me and they might get hit. Are you nervous? Yes. I'm like a. That has potential if it gets there. We're about the same distance. I took the right side. Shaylee took the left. Let's get up there and make some putts. All right, coming up to the green. Shaylee, you hit a pretty good shot here. Honestly, yeah, good start. Pretty simple putt. Let's see what we can do. Oh. It I was. I had it, but it, it was, was tracking. Speed. All right, that's good. Six inches. Let's make this. Get off to a good start. Let's see. Wow, he drained it. Off to a good start, baby. A dream start. It's always nice to birdie the first. You know what they say. You don't birdie the first, you can't birdie them all, huh? You are correct, sir. After the first hole, I am one under, Shaler's even. I feel like we've been kind of going back and forth. Who takes the early lead? It is gonna be a tight match, just oh you win. God. Oh my god, dude. You just wrecked it. This is not ideal. Yeah, we literally just got the drone. We got this drone like three hours ago. And he wrecked it into the tree over the water. It's literally stuck in that tree. This could be a process. Oh my god. This match might be coming into an end, and it might just turn into a vlog of us capturing. <laughs> this is the weirdest video ever. All we're looking at is bark on a tree. What are we doing? This is not ideal, dude. This actually sucks. How did I know something like this was going to happen? Flashback to the time I said Hudson was already a master at flying that. Thing. You have passed your pilot test. successfully passed flight school. Update, guys. The hole we got the drone stuck on is actually right by my house. I mean, this situation could not be worse. But it couldn't be better because we literally just hopped the fence of the golf course and now we're back at my house. We're going to attempt to find one, a ladder, a pool net, two, and then maybe a floaty because I might have to get in the water. This is uh, not good. Guys, <laughs> we have obtained. We're looking good. <laughs> I can't believe this. I cannot good. wait for this adventure. <laughs> this is a good Matt Taylor, by the way. The drone is over the water. I found a floaty, guys. I might be changing from golf apparel to swim apparel, and we're gonna be on a private golf course doing whatever we're about to do. What a turn of events in this match. Out of these ladders, this one might be the best one because it's extendo. I think you can extend this one. I wanna test it out first, make sure. I guess I won the match, right? You know, honestly, I will concede the match at this point. I just wanna get this drone back, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. And we got our floating. So, <laughs> How is that getting in there? I think we're set. Put it in the side door and I we're good to go. I think we're set to complete the round. So we will see you guys at the course. There is a neighbor on this street that has a paddle boat. So we are going to go and see if we can <laughs> We knock saw on the, door. on the lake there's a dock. And the dock has a paddle boat. So we're going to go and knock on a door. You've got to be this kidding thing me. Is right in the center of the lake. <laughs> oh, oh my no. God. <laughs> this is just. <laughs> This is just quite the series of events, dude. Oh my goodness. That is a massive spider. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, don't do that. Give me your shoe. Quick. Give me your shoe. Now. Die, you. That was a wolf spider. Look it up. It's nasty. A wolf spider. Alright, all right, it's dead. It's dead. Alright, come back to shore. Come back. Pull me over here. Hey, give me that floaty. I'm going to toss it to you right now. No, no, no. Looks like the plan is to lean a ladder up against the tree and use this pool net to hopefully knock the drone out into Hogan's hand. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but we will see. This is definitely not the safest thing to do either. We've been out here for over an hour now and we've had no success, but the drone is still alive. The plan is to set up this ladder in the water on the shallow end because it has a wide base. Use this pool net to knock the drone down into the inner tube. This is the riskiest thing that we could do, but we need to get this drone back. We can't just leave it up there because it is about to start getting windy. Storms are on their way. As long as the ladder doesn't fall over, <laughs> this absolutely could work. All right, well, we're gonna use this and this is gonna work. Woo! Ideally, the drone just sits right in that net and then we just lower the net. One and a half hours later and now we have golfers. All right, well, they're in for a show. The drone's right there, so we're actually making progress, I would say. 
Oh my god, dude, I'm it's in there. freaking out right now, dude. Dude, the blades are stuck on the freaking branches. Oh my god. I feel it like I'm oh, yes! Let's go! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go! Let's oh go, baby! God. We saved the drone! <laughs> What an operation. Executed to perfection, baby. Kid gets it stuck in the tree and then makes the save of the day. I mean, there goes the inner tube, but who needs that anyway? I know it was cut up and everything, but that was a two hour process. That was the best shot of the day. That was absolutely the best shot of the day. It is safe. Here is dry land, brother. Huge shout out to this man right here, John, letting us use his, what do you even call this? Cattle boat legend. This man is a lifesaver. Good work, Hogan. Unreal. Dude, I thought I was gonna fall in the water and just break my neck. How's it feel to redeem yourself? I caught it. That's all I can. Oh, this is something special. Right there. I can't believe that. I'm so happy. That was like, honestly, I'm glad that I crashed it and we were able to get that on camera because that felt so freaking good. What'd you think about that catch? I need a whoop band right now because I want to know what my heart rate is. <laughs> it's got to be astronomical. I can't believe it. We tried everything and we got that thing down. We put a ladder in the middle of a lake. Shout out to our boy, John. It is John.K-O-O-N-C-3. Give our man a shout out. Shout out. John, go follow him on Instagram. This dude saved our drone. $2,000. John, Thank much you. love. <laughs> we'll see you later, John. Stuck. We got a cart there, a cart there. We got a car outside the inner gate. Inner tube of somewhere. The inner tube. We got another ladder over there. I still got a golf ball in my pocket. I think that's enough for this video. This was not expected. We'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>